You're watching the Business Channel, creating business class programs. Forrester Research is a global research and advisory company serving professionals in 17 key roles. Well, with me now is the marketing director, Nick Acourt. Hello to you. Hello to you. Now, can you give me an overview of your organization? Yes, so Forrester Research is a company with a turnover of about 200 million pounds. And we are what we could call a, a, a research company, obviously, and also an advisory firm. And we help companies, typically in the sort of Fortune 1000, uh, globally to get themselves to the next level of their growth and we do that through advising them on their marketing strategy and also on how they can use most effectively business technology. Now what specifically would you do for companies thinking of trading in Brazil? What kind of things would they be wanting to know? There's a couple of things. I mean, the obvious one is obviously you know how do people buy products there, particularly products I'm looking to sell there. So um, that's where we survey the market um, typically through online questionnaires, and we give you, you know, statistically valid material that can help you to formulate your strategy. Significantly, if um, you're, you know, you're not too used to that market, we, I can tell you that we're using a methodology which is used in other countries as well. So you can kind of validate it against you know, other markets perhaps you're more familiar with, like Europe, and you say, okay, well, you know, they do this there that's different, that's interesting, this will help us with our strategy. So that's kind of a, a key thing there, I think. Do the Brazilians have any particularly different buying patterns or buying habits? So typically, yeah, one example might be that where landlines and telephony have not been as good as one might hope, um, uh, mobile technology has all leapfrogged that. So there's a quite high penetration of that, which, for example, means that you know Brazilians are crazy about using social media. You know, and the joke in our office is that you know we know more about what our team over there do in their daily lives than we do about our own families. So there's that kind of aspect to things that you need to be aware of. But also, there's the other thing is the different channels through which you might sell the products. And again, that can vary from country to country. It certainly is different there as well. And that's something we can advise on as well. So it's this kind of market intelligence that's really crucial, is it, when people are breaking into Brazil? It certainly, it certainly is. Um, you know, obviously, you want to know what the end consumer's preferences are. But of equal importance is the business landscape. You know, are you going through a wholesaler? Does it make any sense to sell e you know, through an e-commerce channel? You know, possibly not because people don't have broadband. So these are factors you need to consider when you choose your channel to market in Brazil. And for SMEs, you know, managers and directors who perhaps think they're too small to operate in Brazil because it's a big country and it's, it's a long way away, do you cr try and demystify it a little bit for them? Yeah, clearly we, we want to sort of make it as easy for you as possible. We write very plain reports in clearly digestible format, nothing technical about them. And that allows you to clearly understand, you know, through nuggets of wisdom, if you like, how this can help you. And every report, for example, has, you know, actionable, what it means, sections at the end that make it plain as day. This is what you could be doing to make a change to your operation in Brazil. Are there any particular industries or sectors that you deal with? Like any diversified economy that Brazil is, then there are a number of sectors. We would be able to help people in pretty much any sector. I think um, mining is a particularly strong one there. Um, but financial services would be a good example that we could help with. Um, but there's no real particular limits to that, I would say. And you also have a slightly different approach in that you focus on roles within a company rather than just making the company more profitable and selling more stuff. One of the interesting things we think is that we are all about helping you in your specific role. So whether you're a chief information officer or perhaps a marketing leader, our programs are designed to and tailored just for you. So rather than be writing material about, say, a telecom sector or, a, or a software, which we can advise on, we're about how we could propel you to the next level in, in your competence uh, in that role. And we think that's a uniqueness that serves us well in both the current markets and these new emerging markets. Now, what are the particular pitfalls that you point out to your clients uh, when operating in Brazil particularly? Really, it's about what are the client uh, preferences. Like any good company, you shouldn't make too many assumptions about you know, what you believe you know, is uh, the right thing to do. But So we, have, we advise them to, to you know, look very carefully at the data. The other thing is also to not just sort of rush in with a local partner. If you're perhaps more familiar with European partners you have, perhaps say a company like Forrester, then you, you, if you work with one of those, then you know, the joke is I suppose you've got someone who you can sort of go back to you know, and you know where they live if, you, if something goes wrong. Whereas if you're at the mercy of a, of a local partner, that creates more risk for you. 
Um, the other thing I would say is that um, you know, there are a number of other sources of information, not just you know, research companies, that you should consider looking at, which are very low cost options. I mean, for example, the FT, Beyond Bricks site, you know, very good site for you to start using to immerse yourself in that market. So it must be very hard for some companies developing their brand internationally, and how do you advise them on that? There's a couple of things to that, really. I mean, clearly, you know, there's the data-driven in insights that, about the clients, but there are two other aspects to this. I think you, the first one of those is that um, you need to understand perhaps the business dynamic for, you know, what is the right technology we could use to underpin a, a solution we do in a market, but also to actually get you closer to people who already have done it. So, for example, one of our programs is brings people together with peers in other countries who are also looking at Brazil through telecom, through teleconferences or webinars. So it's sort of the peer-to-peer -peer sort of vindication of your strategies that I think we can also help with as well. Not just, it's not just about Forrester, if you like. Now, you also advise Brazilian companies in Brazil. Now, what kind of uh, advice are you giving them? It's an interesting market. Obviously, there's, with the growth of that market comes success for those companies as well. So we, for example, can help them try and improve their strategies for their biggest market, which is right above them, which is North America. So we're very keen to help them, and we do that through you know, exactly how we've described. Insights into the market, what's the best practice, what is the global best practice that you could employ to sort of get yourself into those markets. And of course, back into the, to the, the first world markets, as we might call them, of Portugal, which of course has a similar language to, to Brazil. So there are a number of aspects to that. How do you see your company growing over the next few years? Certainly within Brazil, uh, as I say, we've been there for over 10 years now, so it's all growth. Uh, maybe some of the froth has come off that market if you read you know, the, the, the financial press, but certainly, for example, we've taken on extra salespeople there, and so we're seeing it as, as a growth market, which from our perspective sort of mitigates some of the, the flatness in other markets. Well, Nick Acourt from Forrester Research, thank you very much. Thank you.